we have nine neighbors as a country and uh, one of the neighbors uh, just uh, 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 is not uh, satisfied with the status quo and uh, the neighbor wants to exploit uh, uh, the eastern part of the DRC economically. So this is really the big problem uh, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Rwanda would say it's uh, about uh, uh, their security. No, it's not about, uh, there's no threats coming from the DRC to Rwanda. This is all about uh, uh, the economic issues where Rwanda uh, is coveting what uh, is in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo, so they want to have access to minerals and so on and so forth. Rwanda has categorically denied uh, some of the accusations uh, leveled against them. Uh, they say, in fact, uh, uh, to your point, that there are a lot of security concerns are coming from uh, Congo. And as a result, they have to protect their citizens, they have to protect uh, their uh, territory. I will give you one simple example uh, of uh, Rwandan action in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Congo had three drones uh, at uh, the airport in Kavumu, which is uh, in the province of South Kivu. And those drones have been uh, shot down by grand to air missiles. So I don't know where uh, a, a ragtag army like rebels would do that, except for the fact that this is a proxy force uh, that is working with Rwanda. So I don't know how else, uh, where uh, a, a ragtag army like uh, uh, the M23 would be able to have access to this type of weaponry. So we know it's Rwanda. There's been a lot of rep reports from uh, UN experts about uh, Rwanda involvement in the Democratic Republic of Congo. How about the, the protests that we see, uh, people burning American and uh, other European uh, flags? Uh, what could have uh, led to that? I think the population is frustrated. Um, uh, you know, I think they are taking their anger at the wrong person right now. And they are taking their anger at the Americans and other people. But this is not it. I mean, I think they, the Congolese people should direct their anger towards the Congolese government which is unable to defend the sovereignty of the Democratic Republic of Congo. I was personally in some of those uh, sports uh, in May, and uh, I looked at uh, the Congolese forces, and there is no way Congolese forces are prepared really to defend the territory of uh, DRC. You've been part of the establishment uh, in DRC. What could be the problem? Why is it that uh, the government in DRC has not invested so much in its uh, defense forces. You have hit uh, the nail on the head. Uh, the, the problem here is not that we do not have soldiers capable of fighting, but soldiers are not taken care of. And you cannot accept, expect a soldier to go fight when you don't give him the reason to fight. So what the government needs to do, they need to slash uh, this new pay for, for, for members of parliament from $33,000 a month that's ridiculous amount of money uh, to pay a, a, a member of parliament who, who, whose job is just to legislate. Uh, and the soldier on the battlefield who is trying to defend the territory of the Democratic Republic of Congo is uh, getting uh, less than 100 hours a month. That's, uh, that's ridiculous uh, and uh, that's completely unacceptable.